over the George Floyd case and Mayor of Petal Hallmarks' comments over the last few moments of his life, the citizens of Petal, Mississippi are outside of his home right now just commenting for the resignment of his position over this situation. Citizens of Petal to come together and to unite and to make up your mind today that we deserve Anger, pride, and bonding could be felt as citizens and town leaders in the Pine Belt community united this week in the stand against Petal Mayor Hallmarks and the comments he posted online regarding the George Floyd case. One day after the death of George Floyd, Mark shared online he saw nothing wrong with the police handling the procedure. Later that night, he repeated these stats saying, if you can talk, you can breathe. These comments were faced with immediate backlash in the Pine Belt community for the aldermen holding an emergency meeting asking Marx to resign, in which he declined, apologizing for his comments, but saying that they were not racist. This was unacceptable for pedal citizens, prompting a weekend-long response for him to step down. Yeah, um, I think what Hal Marx said was reprehensible. I don't think that his words reflect the views of the community of Petal and Hattiesburg um, and the people here. I think that's been really evident in the last couple days. There's been a lot of outpouring of support and love. Also aiding in the organization of this protest was the Mississippi Rising Coalition with Christopher Preston, a pastor from Columbia, being a main speaker during the weekend, sharing his reasoning to join. We need Mayor Marx and everybody like him to understand that it's a new day. You may have freedom to say what you want. You may have freedom of speech, but if you speak the wrong thing, they need to know My it's going to cost you something. Once leaving Pedal City Hall, protesters went outside Marx's physical home to protest, but soon protested in silence to not break disturbance laws with Pedal Police supervision. Marx is still currently holding his position for a crowd sure to come to the next town meeting scheduled on Tuesday. For Hub City TV, Earl Stoudemire.